banned forever. U.S. made deadly decision that burns political dream and royal title of Meghan in smoke. Meghan Markle could be prevented from running for U.S. president as a result of her royal title. A 211-year-old constitutional amendment, which was introduced in order to stop Napoleon's nephew from ever seeking power, could be used to halt any political ambitions that may be held by the Duchess. The 1810 tweak to the Constitution is called the Titles of Nobility Amendment and states that anyone who accepts, claims, receives or retains a title of nobility bestowed by a foreign power may not hold federal office. While the amendment was sent out to the individual state legislatures, only 12 of the required 14 state legislatures voted in favor of it. However, the amendment was never thrown out and has remained on the table for more than two centuries. Speaking, constitutional experts said that the previous 12 votes are likely to still count, meaning that only 26 further states' approval would be needed for the amendment to pass. The introduction of the amendment followed the marriage of Napoleon Bonaparte's younger brother Jerome to American socialite Elizabeth Betsy Patterson. This caused speculation that their son might run for office and that the U.S. would be subsumed into the French Empire. Meanwhile, U.S. constitutional expert Mark Tushnet told that keeping her titles could be politically damaging for the Duchess, should she decide to run for office. The Harvard professor said, as a practical matter, though, she'd have to renounce her titles to run. Politically it would be quite damaging, I think, for her to retain the titles. Opponents will seize on anything, and this will be a hook to say well she's not really a true American. This comes amid increasing speculation about whether or not the 40-year-old royal may run for U.S. office in the future, after she penned an overtly political letter to Congress, lobbying them for paid leave. In her letter, she wrote, over the past 20 months, the pandemic has exposed long-existing fault lines in our communities. At an alarming rate, millions of women dropped out of the workforce, staying home with their kids as schools and daycares were closed, and looking after loved ones full-time. The working mom or parent is facing the conflict of being present or being paid. The sacrifice of either comes at a great cost. Paid leave should be a national right, rather than a patchwork option limited to those whose employers have policies in place, or those who live in one of the few states where a leave program exists. If we're going to create a new era of family-first policies, let's make sure that includes a strong paid leave program for every American that's guaranteed, accessible, and encouraged without stigma or penalty. However, defending her decision to engage with the issue, Meghan described it as humanitarian, rather than political. A majority of Brits believe Harry and Meghan Markle should be stripped of their royal titles after their Oprah Winfrey interview, a new poll shows. According to a new poll, just over half think the Duke and Duchess of Sussex should forfeit their titles after this week's bombshell claims. The Queen has finally responded to the interview, backing her family over the claims and insisting, recollections may vary. Her statement comes as it emerged senior royals will be personally quizzed by the Queen over Meghan and Prince Harry's damaging racism claims. A new poll shows 51% of Brits believe that the couple should have their titles removed, with 28% saying they shouldn't. Some 57% believe the interview has damaged the monarchy, while 27% disagree. Opinion is split on how they came across with 36% believing it was badly compared to 34% who thought well. When it comes to who came off worst, 49% think it was the royal family and 32% Harry and Meghan. Meghan told Oprah a senior royal had quizzed her while she was pregnant on how dark their unborn son Archie would be. Her Majesty said in a statement yesterday the accusations will be addressed privately, 